Commitment and dedication. These were the qualities that Doug and Donna Summerhays and Bob Ivey relied upon when doctors told them that their daughters, born with cystic fibrosis, would not live to start school. They were inspired to create an organization to raise funds for CF research, a dream that was realized when they joined a group of other concerned parents and physicians to create the Canadian Cystic Fibrosis Foundation in 1960. And their vision would change the future for thousands of children around the world with cystic fibrosis. In the first decade, the foundation exploded with the establishment of more than 20 volunteer chapters across Canada. In 1964, the District 8 Kinsmen were the first kin clubs to support the families in their efforts to raise funds for the foundation, and students from colleges and universities across the country established Shinerama campaigns, shining shoes to raise funds and awareness. With more funds, research blossomed, and children with CF received treatment at specialized CF clinics across the country. By the 1970s, children were living into their teens and early adult years, and the dream grew. Public support expanded. A dozen new volunteer chapters developed across the country. By the end of the 1970s, kin clubs across Canada were supporting CF and Shinerama continued to raise more and more funds annually. Dr. Douglas Crozier developed a high-fat diet, enabling children and young people with CF to gain weight and improve their health status. A revolutionary method that caught the attention of other countries, including Britain and the US. Canadians had arrived at the forefront of CF research. The 1980s were a decade of progress and innovation. Well-known Canadians, including Céline Dion, Mila Mulrooney and Ken Reed joined the cause, and the Quebec Cystic Fibrosis Association joined forces with the foundation in 1981. Partnerships flourished. With Zellers, the foundation started an annual spring walkathon campaign. Advocates, the Financial Advisors Association of Canada, united with the CF community through the Santa Sock Raffle Program. Kin Canada and Shinerama continue to expand their support of the CF cause. In 1987, Kin Canada members adopted CF as their national service project. 1989 was a watershed year for CF research. Dr. Lap Chi Choi and Dr. Jack Reardon at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, in collaboration with Dr. Francis Collins of the University of Michigan, announced the discovery of the gene responsible for cystic fibrosis, one of the most important medical breakthroughs in the 20th century. And the foundation's involvement with developing new treatments continued. In 1988, Larry Weisgerber of Merritt, BC, became the world's first person with CF to receive a successful double lung transplant. Throughout the 90s, partners and friends continued to make a difference. And as Céline Dion became an international superstar, her support, along with that of her husband, René Angelil, grew. Céline became celebrity patron of the foundation and supported the CF cause by donating appearance fees and proceeds from benefit concerts. Car Star Collision Repair Centers joined Kin Canada, Shinerama, Advocus and Zellers and made the foundation its charity of choice in 1997 and sponsored the Fright Lights program. The foundation launched SPARKS, a special research program that brought together the support of Canadian corporations, industry and researchers to focus on making new CF treatments available more rapidly. With the dawn of the new millennium, great strides were evident in the fight against CF. In 2007, for the very first time in Canada, the number of adults with CF surpassed the number of children. By the end of the decade, half of all Canadians with CF were expected to live into their 40s and beyond, the highest reported survival rate in the world. The annual Spring Walk fundraiser brought the Great Strides brand to Canada in 2005. Under the leadership of chapter volunteers, the walk became the largest annual fundraising event for the foundation, grossing nearly $7 million in its first five years. Partnerships grew. 
CarStar expanded support for the Foundation by starting the annual Soaps It Up car wash event. The Foundation welcomed new partners Max Convenience Stores and BioGuard Splash for CF campaign. Kin Canada extended its support through the creation of National Kin CCFF Day. And in 2009, Kin and Shinerama celebrated 45 years of partnership in the fight against CF. Scientific evidence was strong that early diagnosis helps infants with CF get a better start in life. The Foundation backed newborn screening for CF in Canada, and by 2010, Alberta, Ontario, BC and Saskatchewan had implemented CF screening programs for newborns. With the support of a $6 million major gifts campaign, the Foundation embarked on an ambitious new research program, BREATHE, to target the basic defect in cystic fibrosis. The two BREATHE research teams screened tens of thousands of compounds and found several that restored defective protein activity in CF cells. People with CF and their families now envision a world where cystic fibrosis is no longer a progressive, life-shortening disease. With dedicated volunteers, partners, sponsors and donors, the Foundation's members face the future with confidence that a cure or an effective control for CF is within reach. The fight against CF is stronger than ever. Together, we can beat cystic fibrosis once and for all.